guys, Zena Warthog Princess, and welcome to another What's in My Bag video. Today's bag will be the Lug Canter in Dragonfly Purple. Um, this will be my first time using this bag, but I have used the Canter before, and it's one of my favorites. So here goes. Um, like I said, this is the first time I'm using it, so actually I need to pull the tags off. Um, let me use my scissors. But we'll take a look at this bag and then we'll look at what we're coming out of and then we'll do the usual transition stuff. Oh, this little tag thing is really tied in. Okay, so this bag is what I would consider a large purse. It is um, a medium sized backpack, but it is a purse, it is a convertible style. So it is um, a tote, but with short handles. It also has the crossbody and shoulder strap also and everything is stuck together so that is removable obviously but let's go ahead and hook that on because for sure I like to have that available and I really like that it has the swivels on these straps and that the straps themselves are generously adjustable so and if you're really super tiny and it doesn't go small enough I know that's kind of a problem but there's things you can do but if you're just a bigger person you know there's not a lot you can do to make it bigger anyways I, I do like uh, crossbody I'll leave it adjusted there for now um, okay so this bag like I said we have the multiple carriage options it does have this wrap on the handles um, so it's like got a little more robust feel there it does fit over the crook of your arm very nicely but definitely not over the shoulder um, not not for me or most people anyways it has this front pocket right here which has quite a bit of organization you have a clear ID window you have three more card slots below that, so your interior built-in wallet, if you will, and there is an RFID tag right there. And then you have a soft line pocket right behind on the back side, and as well, this pocket has a bit of organization space, so you can put pouches and things in there also. Um, behind that and above that, you have your soft lined magnetic phone pocket I'll just leave that unzipped for now. On both sides, you have an elastic cargo pocket, and they are great size. I don't have a Dragonfly Purple uh, Chuggy, but I do have other ones that will fit. Um, but I've not been carrying them around. I just keep them in the car. So anyway, it is a magnetic thing in there, so that when you're not using it, it kind of keeps it up and high and tight, if you will. So here's your straps in the back. That is your convertible backpack strap. So those just pull out and then they hook on the loops down here, which conveniently there's a little place to tuck them in so that when you're not using them, they're you know out of sight and not snagging on things, which is great. On the back, you have a very robust trolley sleeve, which is nice. And then behind that, you have a Velcro pocket that basically is that whole big back panel as well. Inside the bag, you have a big elastic cargo pocket. It is not soft lined, but it is the full back panel there. On the opposite side, you have your clear view pocket and two pen slots on the side here. And on the edge of the bag, you have a bungee key clip in there. So, pretty big bag. You have a nice plastic covered bottom and no feet, but definitely your bag is at least somewhat protected there, which is nice. So. That is the bag we're moving into. Let me put the scissors aside. And the bag we're coming out of, because I have purple on the brain, and, as always, because it's my favorite color. But last week was um, Epilepsy Awareness Day, so that was what got us into it, but we're just gonna stick with it and change over brands, just because you get to use all my purple stuff. So I had this bag charm on here. I don't know if we're gonna carry it forward or not, but it's just a Vera Bradley Lavender Meadow Faux Leather tag in the front pocket have my cell phone with the Vera Bradley purple galaxy looking cover in the back pocket I have masks and filters so there's filters and I have elderberry these are all Vera masks elderberry we have batik leaves it's a factory style lilac medallion and the interior of lilac tapestry yeah purple <laughs> also I have some Wet ones, antimicrobial wipes, so hand sanitizer, and I also have a spray. And that is it for the outside pockets. Inside, it's very organized, but very purple. 
So I have my Erin Congen pocket planner there. And my all-in-one for my wallet. I have my Toki Doki coin purse. I just love this thing, although I do need to empty it out into the coin jar. I have a French Paisley keychain with all my gaggle of keys. Medium cosmetic in the factory style. I have this like small essential type case and sunglasses. I have two pens. I, they're not Vera, but I actually have some Vera. I have a this doesn't match, but I don't have a purple one. I come find out, but that's my manicure kit. I've got a zip ID and I've got business cards. And that is it. So the bag is now empty. So this is what we need to move into the other bag. Yeah, so let's see. First, let's talk wallets. Um, so looking at the canter, I have this mini handspring in the berry purple. So it's a possibility. It doesn't exactly match, um, but also isn't the one I want to go with. I know that much already because the next one, this is the Kickflip 3 in Concord. And again, it doesn't match perfectly, but it's my big grab and go wallet. And since I'm going on a trip next week, I want to be already packed into my travel wallet. And so I'm going to take, I think this on my first big adventure with log. So let's take the tags off of this one as well. Lots of firsts in this go round. Oh my goodness. Okay. The tags, the straps. Okay. This one does come with, sorry, let me move this bag out of the way. It comes with a removable adjustable crossbody or belt bag or shoulder strap. I don't think I'm going to take that with me. I don't know for sure but it is already a built-in wristlet. And I, I like that it's a wristlet, but I don't like that the zipper pull is the wristlet, so I can't remove this strap. Typically, I would leave it on anyways, but the point is I, I lose that flexibility to you know make that choice myself. Um, the little loops where the strap connects can just be tucked into that pocket there. Yeah, so that's just a slip pocket on the back with a clear ID window. So you got the zipper pocket, so you can put something in that clear ID window. You can also use the zipper pocket. And then behind that, you have a slip, which seems pretty loose, but I guess that's because the big wide strap was stored back there. But in the zipper section, you have an accordion style layout. You have two big slips. You have eight card slots on each side. So you have four, 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 and four. And it is RFID, the tag is right here in the middle, the little black tag. And then that center section, the, the zipper pocket is clear on both sides. So you can actually see my hand behind there. Um, so that's kind of a, a nice little touch. I've not used this type of wallet yet at all either, not just this color. The front part is a trifold opening. You have a clear ID window, you have a pen elastic, and you have seven card slots down there and that's it there's no big slips in this section at all which is too bad I think if there was a big slip right here that would be perfect I'd put my cash there and have my quick ID and have my cards and my pen for that or if I wanted to put my checkbook there I could slide it in that section and I'd have it right on the front with my wallet yeah you know just is how I think but so we're gonna move into this wallet so we'll just go ahead and set that inside the bag I'll transition the stuff later Obviously, that wallet is out. Okay, other options. Since we're talking Dragonfly Purple, I have the Round Trip, which is a three pouch set in the same pattern. So this one, you have your large, your medium is a vertical, and then your small pouch here. You are pretty much guarantee that probably two, if not all three, will go in this. So we'll just put those here. Other thing I have in Dragonfly Purple is I have the bento boxes in the Dragonfly set. The only piece that is the purple and or the correct size that could be used in this bag is the smallest one. And actually, because it's a big bag, this actually might make it in there because, I mean, yeah, it's, it's just a great little catch-all, like cosmetic organizer type thing. And it is a little bit insulated, so that's a bonus. Um, so I think that probably could make it in there too. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I might go just straight up dragonfly purple. Oopsie. But even
can sew. I have a few other accessories that could make the cut. Oh my gosh, everything is falling. Okay, so I do have a coin pouch in Dragonfly Multi. This is obviously not the same color, but it is clearly the same pattern. So it would still match and could possibly end up on the bag. And this is not Dragonfly Purple, and, and it's not really the same color of purple, but it is purple. And it's this little lug luggage tag pouch bag charm thing. So it's a zipper pocket, so you could fit things in there, actually, fit masks and whatnot. It's kind of a flat thing, though. It has an elastic strap, so you can strap it onto things, and then it has this luggage tag piece in the back, or business card, or whatever. So I just think it's really cute. Um, I think it's a, you know, like a luggage tag, essentially, but I would use it for other things. Probably not gonna make the cut today. It's more of a berry purple color. But I also have the Concord, brushed Concord heart pouch. And this does match, or coordinate rather. It's, it's not a perfect purple match, but it is a very good match. So again, I'll set that aside for possibility on the outside. I have the Concord Runway Envelope. So this is the two envelope set. And I do love these a lot. I use them quite a bit when I'm using my lug bags. And um, it is purple. So again, it's Concord, close enough. So this has a possibility of making it in there. Because I do like that clear view and I like that they're trim profile. Also, speaking of Runway Envelopes, I have the clear view four piece set. <clears throat> and this one is in Dragonfly, and the Dragonfly set, one of them, the second to smallest, which is a great size for this bag, happens to be the purple piece. So there's my Dragonfly purple. So I might be able to go straight up matchy-matchy on this transition and still hit all of my organization desires. So this one also has, you have the blue twice, or the navy rather and then you have the multi and the regular size. So those two smaller pieces here, those are the same as the runway envelopes, except this is a quilted part, but same otherwise. And then you have the bigger one and the other size. Okay, so I think we'll put that aside because I think we're just gonna go with this one. Um, other accessories, uh, I have another bag charm. This is Vera Bradley. It's from Moonlight Garden but it says faux leather dragonflies. Now, I mean, um, lightning bugs. So I know lightning bugs and dragonflies are not the same thing, but look at how cute that goes together. I mean, it's definitely bug bug and purple pink, purple pink, and that pop of green just kind of, yeah. So that could, that could happen. And I have a lug keychain or key fob as some people call them. This is from my shimmy in dragonfly purple. So the shimmy came with these. Um, sometimes you can buy them separately. I don't think you currently can. I've never been able to, but some of the bags do come with them. So again, that's for sure gonna go in there. In fact, let's change that straight away. So we'll just move the keys over. So this was my French Paisley and that's out. So we'll hook, because I have everything on these carabiners group. So got the shopping tags, the key, the keys, and then on the other end, on the clip, I could put my mail key, or I could actually, let's do it this way. So now I can clip that to the bag if I want and have all the keys on one end. Okay, so keys need to go in here for sure. So where do I want the keys? I think I'm gonna put them in a side pocket because I have this clip. This is just thinking on the fly. The clip can actually secure the keys onto where the strap, and then I could put this in the pocket, and I feel very secure with this because of two reasons. One is there's a magnet there, so that will kind of keep the pocket closed. Those keys aren't just gonna fall out anyway. And then it's also secured. So, yeah, that's a great plan. Ha, <laughs> ha, love it. Okay, so other, other options, I grabbed the paddles because I have the paddles in the Concord and Orchid color. Guess what? Good match color scheme. This is clearly way too big of a pouch to put into my canter, but the smaller of the two pouches is a reasonable size that could make it into that bag. 
but we have so many other options. I doubt that it's gonna make it, but let's just keep it as an option and I'll just set it aside for now. Um, also, this does come with a removable wristlet strap, so I could possibly put that strap on one of these other bags. We'll see. Put the tags inside. All right, and one last set of options before we start packing up. This is a Vera Bradley pencil pouch. This is a um, Staples exclusive. This pattern is Deep Night Paisley Lavender, so different coloration of the retail pattern. And inside I have a bunch of purple things. So first of all, I have this other pen pouch in the same pattern, same exclusive line. Um, and it has the elastic, so you can put pens in it or pencils in, hook it onto your notebook or whatever, or you can just use it as a pouch. But I grabbed some <laughs> Vera Bradley pens that are nice metal ballpoint pens. In different patterns some are twist and some are click but we've got I don't know if you can see paisley amethyst that's a factory style we have a click pen in the lavender meadow we've got a twist pen in the interior pattern to lilac tapestry batik leaves another factory style and that one's gold most of these are silver this one is regal rosette in a retail side click pen an older style click pen in the La Lalek medallion. That one has gold on it. And then this is a fashionista, I mean, um, impressionista and impressionista stripe. That, in the previous style, they used to go exterior and interior together on the same pen. I kind of like that because it ties the two together. That's also when some accessories came with the exterior, which was the interior pattern. So you had options to mix and match, which kind of miss that yeah anyways otherwise I have two pens from lug that could go one is dragonfly multi because they do not have the purple one I really would love to get it so if anyone wants to do a trade let me know and we'll sort that out um, and then I have a bloom black so these do again pattern and or colors kind of match obviously I have some decisions to make of course and then Let's see what else I got. So I'm gonna put these aside. Uh oh, another. So I have this random purple pen. This is Roberts Resorts, whatever. It's an advertising pen. I have a lilac tapestry click pen. This is another advertiser, Northwest Healthcare in Oro Valley. That's in this area, but it's purple. And then I have a Ellie Medallions pencil from Vera Bradley. It's factory style. And it's a mechanical pencil, lilac tapestry interior, lilac tapestry. So three different colors of ink there, I think. And then this friend, this is from Carnaby Gal. Yay, she made this. And it's in lilac medallion. It's a lovely pen. Then I also have a three click pen set of the lilac medallion. Obviously, we're not putting all of these pens in. Then we have the other purple pen. That's another Northwest Healthcare that I already had here. And I have a purple highlighter from Highlighter. It's the click kind. Okay, so pens we'll come back to. Okay, let's start packing up the bag. So first of all, sunglasses for sure have to go in. So I've got lilac tapestry with lilac tapestry sunglasses. And I also have the little um, wiper thing in there. So I know that you don't need the case because there is this soft pocket, but for the moment, oh, it doesn't fit in there with the case. So let me take it out and see. Okay, it definitely fits without the case. So we'll put the case aside for now. My bag charm just jumped off the table. So let's go ahead and put that on there somewhere. Maybe on the opposite side from the keys. seems weird off to the side like that. Maybe I'll put it on the back or on a handle up front. Hmm. Okay, that's fine for now. The phone obviously needs to go in here, so we'll put that in there. And okay, hand sanitizers, masks, 
and I'll just lay them all out facing the same way, all my purples. And filters and wipes. These all are gonna go in the back Velcro pocket. And in that pocket, I'll put my spray hand sanitizer as well. And that way the exterior access is extra. Let's see, this one, you know what? That actually might match better even. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the, the one we have on there. So we got one that matches thematically with the bugs and one that matches more color-wise. I'm gonna go with the color. <laughs> okay, there we go, that's out. So we've got that, business cards. Hmm. I think they'll go inside. I'm gonna put business cards, nail samples, and a manicure kit in the big slip together. I think I'm not going to put a pouch on the outside since I have a bag charm. We need the calendar to go in there, so I'm gonna put that in the big slip in the back there. The coin purse has to go in there for sure. And since we have this key bungee, I'm gonna go ahead and connect the coin purse to the bungee. I'll empty it later, but for now, we've got the coins easy to find, but I'm... Okay, so we need two pens here, and then we have on this one thing I didn't mention, there's another elastic right here. So that could be more pens, possibly. So I'm thinking, let's see if we, what we have for lug here. We have lug pen, highlighter, where's the other lug pen? Oh, there it is. So I'll put the dragonfly one and uh, in here on the inside in the pen slot oops where's the pen slot there it is and let's pick a purple that matches well so we've got the click pen lilac tapestry maybe actually the interior that one matches well we've got a pencil might need a pencil Oh, that might match even better than the plastic one. Choices. Yeah. Plain purple, also good. Okay, you know what? I think I'm just going to go with these three options. One of these two. Let's see. I'm kind of feeling like I want to go with the plastic one for some reason. I mean, they're the same pattern. Just gives more pink of it. So I have a pencil, a pen, and a highlighter. So we'll see if the highlighter will fit in the front. It fits quite nicely, right up there on the elastic. And I've got the pen, which is a little bit wider, but the pencil is quite thin, so it can fit in the same slot with that. So I actually have three writing utensils and a highlighter if I need it um, up front. Cool. Now, we have some accessories that we need to transfer over. This one is my catch-all miscellaneous stuff. So that is out. And then this one was my tech stuff. Okay, so that's out. All right. Oh, I really kind of want to use this just because I can, but it seems kind of big and bulky, so that's going to be out, I think. So we've got the small from the medium pouch. The medium pouch might be perfect for the tech stuff. So one for one swap there. And there I have a cord, a charger, a plug, a screen wipe. And there's actually a little extra room in there, but I think that is a great size. And then, this seems a little big. Maybe we'll go with this one. We've got a lip gloss, chapstick, lip balm, kind of all the lip stuff. We've got, even my lotion matches. That's Black Cherry Merlot from Bath & Body Works. I need to refill my toothpick dental floss things, but I'll put that in there for space saver. 
gum and mints. We've got glucose tabs in case of emergency. We've got two servings of almonds. Keep that at the ready. And that does fit in there. And then I've got a comb and two hair elastics. And I do have a meal bar, but that's been in there a little while, so I'm just gonna take it out. Obviously, I haven't needed it on the go. Almonds would tide me over more than sufficiently. So there I have my everything pouch and my tech pouch. So really keeping it trim. Um, the front, there is some space for pouch, but because the glasses, it does kind of bulk that a little bit. So I'm just gonna leave that as is. And instead of putting this pen in the elastic, I'm just gonna put the highlighter laying down on the bottom of the thing, because it's just more out of the way and allows easier access to just get my sunglasses. So that's pretty open. But inside, we're just gonna put these two pouches and it's gonna be perfect. So I'm not even using the clear view pocket actually. So I might, what do I wanna put up there? No, I'm just gonna leave everything where it is. So I've got my manicure kit, my nail samples in the zip ID and my business cards there. I've got my planner, my clear view, my wallet, and my pouch and then down below the pouch is the coins on this side i just have my pen and pencil yeah so that's good it is a double zipper which i like and now we're all set so purple Woohoo! see you again soon we're gonna do a packing video for the trip i'm not sure at all how that's gonna go or what what we're gonna take with me it is a short trip but we'll do a video later have a great weekend happy easter bye for now Thank <laughs> you.